Hey everybody, Aaron Cowan, Sage Dynamics, and this is the Primary Weapon Systems Mark 109 Mod 2M. Name's a bit of a mouthful, I know. Uh, what I'm getting with the Mark 109 Mod 2M is a AR platform chambered in 300 blackout. Now, lower options vary as far as stocks go. Uh, comes standard with a pistol brace. Um, I went with the Maxim Defense uh, with an SB brace, and I'm using the Q Trash Panda Suppressor for the 300 Blackout Round. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know I haven't always been the biggest fan of the 300 Blackout Round. Uh, it does have a niche use, and I find myself warming up to it more, mainly because of this rifle. Uh, I really like shooting this thing subsonic. Supersonic, I can still take it or leave it. I don't really like the recoil pulse of the supersonic round through this rifle, uh, and I just don't really care for uh, what I'm getting ballistically. It's still a great round, don't get me wrong, uh, but for subsonic, that's probably going to be my primary use of this particular rifle. Now, Primary Weapon Systems is well known for their long stroke piston system, and that's exactly what you're going to get with the uh, Mark 109 Mod 2M. As far as features go, if you were to just pick up the upper receiver, you get the complete rifle. You're getting that nine inch barrel, just over nine inch barrels, uh, one and eight twist, uh, 416R stainless. Uh, that's the barrel material that they're gonna use. The piston system on this particular rifle is a bit of a departure for PWS because it's one of the few rifles they make where the piston gas is not adjustable for the user. The reason PWS did that uh, is because they were going with the original SAMI specs uh, from AAC uh, for cycling. Uh, so they have a recommended round uh, grain that you should be shooting through this thing, both supersonic and subsonic, which is kind of in keeping with the lineage, if you will, of the 300 blackout round. I can tell you just from personal use, this thing functions great, and it functions very, very quiet using that subsonic round. I've shot some subsonic 300 blackout rifles in the past, and found that they ran okay, or they ran really well, but there was just something missing. Uh, there was something about the reliability. It seemed like the gun was sluggish. And while I didn't, uh, some of these rifles, I didn't really experience any problems, I could tell that on a dirtier gun, uh, issues were probably gonna be present because that, that bolt cycling mass was just barely able to complete the ejection pattern and get the rifle loaded for the next round. Not something I experienced with this rifle. And while I was a little apprehensive getting into it because it wasn't user adjustable, uh, after putting a couple thousand rounds through it, I definitely understand why they went that direction with this rifle. Another standard feature uh, for the Mark 109 is the picklock rail, which is M-lock and at the front, it, right there at the, probably the, just over the last inch of the g almost nine inch rail, I've got Picatinny uh, interface at the three, the nine, of course, 12 o'clock, whole 12 o'clock's pick. Uh, so I can put my, my accessories up there and not have to worry about getting the M-lock specific mounting for like an example, this Surefire DF defaults to pick mount. I didn't have to buy an aftermarket mount. Not a big deal, but it saves me a little bit of money. And most of your accessories end up there anyway, so it's kind of cool. Uh, to be able to throw things on there and not have to worry about, like I said, getting the M-Lock interface. As with all of the Mod 2 line, there is no forward assist, which some people find to be problematic. It bothers them. Uh, my personal feeling, just based on my, my 20 years of doing various jobs, law enforcement, military, private security, of using the AR platform, can't remember a time I ever really needed the forward assist. Uh, there are some cool hunting applications for it. You know, a guy wants to be up in a tree stand, pull the chamber back, just make sure it's unloaded, and then kind of tap it, tap, 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 tap a roo forward. That's fine. Uh, choose a rifle as forward assist. Uh, outside of that, I've never had a huge use for it. Um, if it's on a rifle, it doesn't really bother me. I don't lose sleep over it or anything, but I'm not gonna, it's not gonna stop me from buying a rifle just because it doesn't have a forward assist. Uh, so that's not an issue. Now, the pistol, or I should say the piston system is pistol length. 
uh, kind of had to be based on the barrel length and that does change your recoil pulse a little bit and like I kind of already prefaced in the video uh, the recoil shooting supersonic is a little jumpy uh, it's not the worst by by any stretch of the imagination and by anything I've ever felt but there's more mass going on with the larger rounds compared to a two two three five five six so it's something that's definitely noticeable but me, I'm going to shoot pretty much nothing but subsonics through this thing from here on out because that's where it really, really shines, uh, especially using the trash panda can. Uh, I also tried it with a Surefire 30 cal, which the one I have is the full size, so uh, it's a, it's a, it makes the rifle considerably longer. Guy grave gave great sound. Uh, but I think this trash panda is going to find its permanent home on this rifle. Now, this video, of course, is not a review uh, because I am a sponsored shooter by PWS, but it is an informational to show you guys this thing is out there. And this rifle is definitely slowly helping me change my mind about the 300 blackout round in general. I do find it to be very enjoyable and very effective to shoot at subsonic. And there's a bit of a giggle factor there because it's so quiet. And I like quiet guns, just like I like guns that don't have recoil. And when I shoot 300 blackout subsonic through this rifle, I kind of get a little of both. As specifically for the 300 blackout and a piston gun, uh, there are others out there. Uh, so why would you choose PWS? My personal feeling on PWS is you're getting a long stroke versus a short stroke piston, and you're going to get the performance and you're going to get the reliability that PWS is known for in a piston platform, which is advantageous uh, against everything that's all this else is out there. And the price point for what you're getting is pretty reasonable. Of course, you can just buy the upper receiver and throw it on what you got already, or you can get the complete rifle to get all the other features of the Mod 2 line, uh, those ambi controls, um, and the ratcheting castle nut, and some of the other stock options that are available for their lower receivers. And it's just a good looking gun. And when you got the Mod 2 upper and a Mod 2 lower, you get those nice aesthetic lines. And again, aesthetics for me is always low on the list, but it's on the list. So something I want to be concerned with, and I just have this weird OCD thing of I want my upper receivers to match my lower receivers if I can help it, and I usually can. Now, I've seen some catastrophe take place when it came to someone putting the wrong caliber in their 300 blackout, introducing a 223 into it, which, yeah, not that big of a deal. A gun didn't, uh, well, didn't explode. It was still a bad thing, but it didn't, didn't blow up. And then I've seen the opposite where, and of course this didn't happen in person, but I did see a video of it where somebody introduced a 300 blackout into a 223, and that was much more of a significant emotional event for the shooter. Uh, what I did is I went to the guys over at BarelyTactical.org, Modern Outdoors Adventures, and I had them just do some laser mags for me. So I know, without a doubt, there's 300 blackout in this magazine. Um, seemed like the easiest way to go with it, you know, uh, topical, kind of pop culture-ish. Um, but I actually went with the Magpul's dedicated 300 Blackout magazines. I got some 223 and I ran some 300 Blackout through them, didn't have any problems, but since Magpul makes a dedicated 300 Blackout magazine, and uh, I kind of defer to Magpul on almost all things magazine, almost all things magazine, I thought it was kind of cool to have something that was readily recognizable. Um, I've already gotten questions about this magazine on social media, and I'm sure it would have popped up in the video section if I didn't put this part into the video, so I wanted to mention it specifically. Uh, you can get those magazines over there, or maybe I've just given you a cool idea on how to mark your mags readily so you know um, what you're getting in your gun uh, without worrying about it. Now all I gotta do is come up with a different cool design to identify subs from Supersonic. But because this is not a review, because a review would be a bit of a conflict of interest because I'm sponsored by PWS, I'm not going to get into the normal testing that you'd normally see on a firearms review, but I will tell you that uh, I've got a couple thousand rounds through this rifle at this time. It remains uh, accurate and reliable, uh, and the only thing I really don't care for about it, and it's that small little issue, is the recoil pulse I get when shooting supersonic, which is why I'm probably just going to shoot subs through it. If I want to shoot supersonic ammo, I'll just go back to a 223.556. And since I'm not a hunter, uh, I don't hunt, I haven't hunted since high school, um, I'm probably not going to be employing this rifle for anything other than uh, range practice use and probably a lot of night vision stuff when I want to shoot superson or subsonic and keep it really nice and quiet. So if you're like me, or at least how I used to be, kind of on the fence about 300 blackout, a little indifferent, you can kind of take it or leave it, uh, or you're just looking for a uh, different, another, or a higher quality version, uh, 300 blackout, than what you may have, uh, the PWS has definitely helped change my mind on the caliber, and maybe it can help change yours too. I'm Aaron Cowell with Sage Dynamics. Train accordingly.